So after a disappointing summer test series, how does Gregor Townsend match up to previous Scotland coaches? Today we're going to find out who the best Scotland coach has been. So Scotland's first head coach was Bill Dickinson and he was head coach from 1971 to 1977 but was actually called the advisor to the captain because people didn't want Scotland to have a head coach. He coached 27 tests, winning 14, losing 13 and drawing none and having a 51.85 win percentage. Scotland's next head coach was Nairn McEwen and he was slightly less successful. He coached 15 matches where Scotland only won one, drew two and lost 12 and I think he's the only Scotland coach to have drawn more games than he has won. He had a 7.14 win percentage. There wasn't much about him, but um, he interestingly was born in Tanzania. So I guess uh, Scotland were working on project players even back in the 60s when he was playing for Scotland. Scotland's next head coach was Jim Telfer. Now he's actually had three stints as head coach of Scotland. 1980 to 1984, 1983 to 1985 and 1988 to 1999. That's actually the most times anyone has coached Scotland. He's also been the assistant coach twice, director of rugby, and has also coached the British and Irish Lions in the 1983 tour. He coached Scotland over 65 tests, having 29 wins, 3 draws, and 33 losses meaning he had a 44.615 win percentage. And the next coach for Scotland was only an interim coach, and this was Colin Telfer, and he coached for six matches and didn't win any of them, meaning he had a 0% win percentage. After that was Derek Grant, who coached from 1985 to 1988. He coached for 18 tests, winning nine, drawing one and losing eight, meaning he had a 50% win ratio. He was actually Hoik's most successful coach, where he won them five Division I championships in the, the 70s and 80s. The next Scotland coach was Sir Ian McGeekin, who has also coached the British and Irish Lions. He coached Scotland on two different occasions, from 1988 to 1983 and from 2000 to 2003. He coached Scotland for 76 games, winning 37, drawing 2 and losing 37, meaning he had a 46.68% win percentage. He also took Scotland to a Grand Slam in 1990 and took Scotland their furthest in a World Cup to a semi-final. Richie Dixon was the next head coach for Scotland, coaching them from 1995 to 1998. He coached Scotland for 16 games, winning 5, drawing 1 and losing 10, meaning he had a 31.3 win percentage. He was also involved in the Swedish coaching setup and coached Georgia from 2010 until 2011. Matt Williams then coached Scotland from 2003 till 2005. He coached Scotland for 17 matches, winning three, drawing none, and losing 14, meaning he had a 17.65 win percentage. He only won one Six Nations match. Frank Haddon was the next coach for Scotland, coaching from 2005 until 2009. He coached Scotland for 41 games, winning 16, drawing 0 and losing 25, meaning he had a 39.02 win percentage. He actually won the Calcutta Cup twice in his tenure and also won his first game that was against France, which was quite a turnaround from the Matt Williams era. Next was Andy Robinson, who coached from 2009 until 2012. He coached Scotland for 35 games, winning 15, drawing 1 and losing 19, meaning he had a 42.86 win percentage. His reign started well for Scotland, he took Scotland to 6th in the world rankings, but it ended quite poorly after a loss to Tonga, after which he resigned. After Andy Robinson, Scotland had Scott Johnson on an interim basis uh, between 2012 and 2014, where he took charge of 16 games, winning 5, drawing 0 and losing 11, meaning he had a 31.25 win percentage. He was in charge of Scotland's worst ever loss to Wales 
in his last game. Vern Cotter was then the next head coach for Scotland, coaching them between 2014 and 2017. He coached Scotland for 36 games, winning 19, drawing 0 and losing 17. That meant he had a 52.78 win percentage. He took Scotland to their highest ever world ranking, which was 5th, and also took Scotland to a World Cup quarter final. And after Vern Cotter was the current head coach for Scotland, Gregor Townsend, who's been coaching since 2017. He's taken charge of Scotland for 57 games, winning 31, drawing 1, and losing 25, meaning he has a 54.68 win percentage. He coached Scotland in their highest scoring draw in 2019 against England, which was 38-38, and also got knocked out of the 2019 World Cup at the group stage. So if you have been playing along at home, you will be able to tell that Scotland's best coach on win percentage has been Gregor Townsend. But there are other ways to tell who has been Scotland's best coach, and that could be Five Nations or Six Nations Championship wins. So in terms of championship wins, Bill Dickinson has won one, Jim Telfer has won two, Derek Grant has won one, and Sir Ian McGeekin has also won one with Jim Telfer and Sir Ian McGeekin also winning Grand Slams. So if you're using that statistic, then Jim Telfer is Scotland's best ever coach. But if we used games won, then it would be Ian McGeekin. So you can decide which is more important. Are you surprised to find out that Gregor Townsend has the highest win percentage of any Scotland head coach? But if you want to see the good and bad of a Scotland's autumn series against Argentina, check this video out right here. Thanks for watching.